I got my We'll be just filming my first week of online school. Today is Sunday, September 13, and it's currently almost 3 p.m. I was just about to start my French reading and getting like actual work work done, but then my dad was like, okay, let's go out and eat, guys. And I haven't been out for like literally a week. Like, I haven't stepped out of this house, so I'm totally down for that, so I'm gonna head out now. somewhere near Chiak Mountain and <laughs> there's a lot of restaurants and cafes here. This is our room. You can see the mountain right outside. And this is our appetizer. This is bandegi. I'm gonna try the bandegi. I tried it last year and I hated it. But mom said it's different. Mm. <laughs> 당면은 진짜 맛 없었는데. 당면 오늘 입맛이야. 바로 뱉었었는데. 입맛이 비렸지. 입맛이 변해가는 거. 아니야, 그 집에 비려가. Not bad. 왜? 이제 뭐냐? It's eating rice with konkaru. <웃음> it's injeri pop. Injeri pop. Does it taste good? <laughs> Can I eat one more more? Oh, I saw. This is right next to the restaurant. The sound is so relaxing and peaceful. I got my idea drink. And I took a shower. I'm just gonna put on some skincare. I'm gonna put on this Thank You Farmer Rice Pure Essential Toner. I leave it in the refrigerator um, just to keep it cool. I usually like to use a cotton pad and just swipe it across my face, but I don't have any cotton pads right now, so I'm just using my hand. I just pat my face, and when I feel like it's all like moisturized, I put on cream usually, but today my skin it is really bad. It's been breaking out because the weather is changing, the season's changing. So I wanted to give it some extra care. So I'm going to use this Claire, Dear Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Tensile Sheet Mask. It's kind of hard to get it perfectly. I think this is good enough. And now I'm just going to edit my UFT Q&A video. So I have my laptop and I'm just going to work on that. Have any of you guys watched My Absolute Boyfriend? It has Mina from Girls Day and Yeo Jin Bu um, as the main characters. I like binged watched it. I skipped a lot of the episodes towards the end because it was kind of getting boring and like I didn't ship the main couple. But oh my god. It's like a drama that's a year old. It's an old drama but ah, I was so frustrated. It was really cute but like I shipped the second lead with the girl. Like they dated for seven years and they broke up for a robot. I don't know. I can't get over like the first scene where the main girl and like the second lead are like so cute together because if you guys watched it, let me know what you guys thought about the drama and if you shipped, which couple you shipped together I think it's been a long time since I was like a strong advocate for the second lead like since 19 or probably 1988 I haven't felt this way I also started a new drama with Park Bogum and the girl from Parasite oh I don't know her name but like my two friends um, were like ah it's whatever but I personally really liked the first two episodes I really liked how it was like about a serious topic really talking about classism and how some people are bound to do better than you just because they have a better background and financial status and also they had like a lot of family tension which I really enjoyed it, it looked very real just everything about the drama seemed so real yet adding on to the realness was more realness of like it's not that 
deep all the time. Like even though there's this underlying problem, your li daily lives just keep going. Hey guys, today is Monday, September 14, and I'm just scrolling through um, our school's like dashboard page where all the profs upload the course materials and like our assignments and readings. Um, not all my courses are uploaded yet and I don't have access to all of them but um, to the ones that I do, I'm just gonna go through the syllabus and see what the course is like jot down the important dates like test dates and assignment due dates and write it in my calendar and my planner so that I have the whole semester in one glance and I don't have to worry about forgetting something when things get busy so yeah currently installing a bunch of programs for my computer science course. I have no idea what's going on. coffee but it's something to do with goat <laughs> and it's really healthy for you so what's <laughs> that? so I'm waiting for this class to start and there's 174 people as of right now where if you want to you can turn your camera on want to you can turn your audio on um If someone gave me the choice to pick from like 10 hours of lecture every day versus like one reading a day I would pick the 10 hours of lecture because I hate reading so much. Fun. I guess people don't come early to meetings. I hope it doesn't notify them that I keep going in and out. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go in right at 10.30 or 11.30. Korea time 11.30, Toronto time 10.30. My friend wants to help with finding a bridal dress because her sister is getting- because her- Oh, the meeting started. Okay, I'll just go in a few minutes later. But my friend is asking for help because she's been looking for a bridal dress because her sister is getting married um, soon. But I don't know where to look for bridal dresses. I ended up just doing my own shopping. Junie, do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> I'm so tempted to go down to the convenience store and get some snacks. It's so close, but so far. <laughs> so what I plan to do is just listen to the trailer and fill in the blanks and then go over the script again and write down the expressions and vocabularies I don't know. So that's the plan, guys. This part's really funny. Understanding. But sometimes if you're writing out a really long expression and you're. are at a tonkatsu slash cafe place and I brought my stuff to study. It's been a while since I studied outside so I'm really excited. The weather's super nice. It's okay that we change, but it feels kinda strange that you in my life. There's no one here except for our family. i
Oh my goodness, the sun is so nice. I haven't been out in so long. Oh my god, is that a windmill? Do you guys see that? I love the sun. This is my favorite type of weather. Like, maybe if there was a little breeze, I would have liked it better. But I love, like, the fall and summer, like, in between. Fall is my favorite season. Oh my god, look at the flowers! It looks so nice. Aww. Look at what this says. It says, 이렇게 예쁜 곳에 더 예쁜 당신이. I think this is like a photo zone. But I don't have anyone to take a photo of me. So, that's not gonna happen. I'll just sit here by myself. So, I'm pretty sure people up there can see me, but that's where I was sitting. jittery from the coffee I had. This is why I don't drink coffee even though it tastes so good. I love coffee. I love coffee. I just get really jittery. I think I'll what I need to do is like, you know how you have one cup usually? I need to like split it like an espresso. Yeah. And like instead of actual espresso, but like just coffee. Yeah. In an espresso shot and pretend it's espresso. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, but if I drink the coffee like really slowly, then I don't get as jittery. But if I drink it on an empty stomach and like one shot it or like drink it in or one sitting, or yeah, it doesn't make me feel more awake and more productive. It just makes me feel shitty and jittery. But hey guys, I got my. <laughs> Am I being recorded? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But I got my package finally. Korea is like really fast with packages. It comes like a day after or even the day of but this one took a really long time it might be because i ordered it around like third it might be because i don't yeah i don't know but basically i got some skincare products because i kind of ran out of my cream and my skin you probably saw it throughout this whole video but like it's pretty bad these days um i think it's because of the seasons changing and like probably stress from school starting yeah i got a lip balm because my lips are very like dry these days and it like puffs up it's been really bad people say they don't finish a lip balm for years but like i literally finished mine in like two weeks not even like one week so <laughs> i got a new lip balm i had a burt's bee one before because my dad just bought me one but i'm trying the dr belmer one because this cream is like my holy grail it's the sika recovery cream and this is the cream that made my skin like luscious and glowing i never got complimented for my skin until i started using this and everyone would be like how do you have such nice skin and i'm like uh, for the longest time like i don't but then i realized that this changed my skin and it made it so much better better the scent is very very natural nothing artificial and it comes with a spatula so it doesn't contaminate your product you don't want to use your hands because all the germs and bacteria will go into the cream so yeah that was my mini little haul for dr bomer i can let you know what this is like i'm hoping that this will help with whatever's going on here so yeah Ooh. it's like this yes doesn't smell like anything. I don't like lip balms that smell. It just irritates my lips. Hmm. First impression, I like it. I like it because it has a similar like texture or result of Vaseline. So it's like a thick, thick texture, but it doesn't leave like a heavy finish. Oh, I finally feel hydrated. <laughs> You can't even say that seriously. Oh, I do feel really hydrated. I, I said that like naturally and I'm like, oh, I should record this. And yeah, that was not natural, but I feel really hydrated. Why don't you just drink it on? Okay. Not a bit. A little goes a long way, guys. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? <laughs> oh! Tteokbokki! Hi! Hey, what are you doing? Some kind of fish. Mm, it's dark, but we ate all of it. And my food. I love dark. I love puddle. I ate the fall in one sitting. Wow.